and welcome to the famous Seamus Experience. My name is Seamus O'Grady. So last year, after my first unsuccessful hunt during the first week of the season, I came back for the very last week of the season to go try and hunt in the very same spot I went to in the very first week of the season. And I did not make it there because there was so much snow that I could not drive my truck through it. And we're about to come up in that area where I got stuck in the snow and I had to shovel myself out. I thought maybe if I threw chains on, I would get out, but no, I did not. And that's when I went home because I was done. And here's that area right here. Here's that spot. And as you can see, it's beautiful out. Got a nice, a nice sunset. Nice snowy Jane, the truck. And another truck here. I ran, in, I ran into some other guys who uh, had the same, same idea I had. My name is Seamus. Zach Evans. Seamus and Joe Seamus. Doing well. So, why are you guys in the truck and not in the woods? Because the weather sucks. It's yeah. pretty dark to see anything now. Nope. Yeah. So, how are the wo uh, the roads out there? Pretty uh, sketchy. Uh, once you get above about 6,500 feet, a fair amount of snow is sticking to the ground and to the roads. What was it? 7,000 feet we were getting up to. Probably had two feet of snow. Yeah, about two feet of snow up on the road. Yesterday we got stuck up there. <laughs> had to chain up to get out and, and help other people out. And help them get them out. All my plans were to hunt at seven to 8,000 feet. So it sounds like my weeks of dreaming and planning has gone to waste. I need to start over. Adapt and improvise and overcome. Yep. All right. Nice, nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. Good meeting you. Good luck. Thank you. You guys too. Hello, and welcome to my first actual day of hunting. So the plan is to hike through this timber here, then uh, get to a nice spot up top, and glass. All right, let's go. I made a mistake today on reading my map. What I thought that said 6,000 feet was actually 5,000 feet. Just the lines were kind of in the way, made it hard to see. I was like, oh, I'm only gonna hike up 600 feet today, but I was wrong. It was actually 5,000 feet. So today, I'm gonna hike up 1,600 feet. But as I was going, I'm like, this is way harder than it should be. But I'm already halfway, so I'm just gonna keep going. A nice little opening. <clears throat> My spot that I want to get to is right up there still. We're at 6,100 feet, so just another 500 feet. And then I get to rest in glass and just wait. Good thing I got up so high so that I can see into this valley. Look at this gun. It's amazing. I really like my gun. Anyways, I've been up here for about two hours now, hoping for some clouds to go away. And as you can see, nothing. I mean, there are brief moments of where it would break up and I can see the other side, the other side of the valley. 
but um, that comes and goes. And I actually turned on my cell service and I have like 4G max bars up here. So I was able to look at the forecast and it's supposed to be foggy and snowy like this all day in the next few days. So I think I need to go back to the bar and use the Wi-Fi and uh, look for a different area to hunt in. I have all week until I have to go back to work on Monday. All right, it's time to start the journey back down. Oh. Ah. See that? It's knee deep sometimes. Bed that's not an elk bed. It's a deer. It's a meal deer bed. Actually, there's tracks all over this hill of meal deer, but no elk. So I'm back at my truck, and while I was walking around out there, I did fall down a lot. And perhaps that I was using to hold my gun to my chest, uh, it broke. And as you can see, I have a rail where the stud should be for that quick release. The rail off, got the stud on there for my other rifle. And on that other rifle, I had this uh, rail adapter for the stud. So that's one I put it on here so I can um, use the, the sling. I don't have to carry my gun. So I got the rail on here, with the stud here. Now I can use my bipod and have the sling ready to go back. I did not know those roads were gonna be like that. I'm so glad that I bought new tires for my pickup. Look at these things. I don't know if I, I don't know if I would have been able to make it if I didn't have these. Pretty dirty. Yeah. Well. If the trees weren't there, this would be a pretty nice view. But I hope there's some elk back there. A lot of hunting is just really, just a lot of hiking and backpacking with a gun and some binos or some optics. Or sometimes you just hunt from your truck and eat cookies. It's a bit snowy out. I found some animals. Not what I'm looking for though. So the first day of actual hunting was not successful, but I would say it was still very fun. Um, driving around looking for um, good spots, the glass and being stopped by the snow, mostly by the snow and visibility, foggy and snowy. But tomorrow I think I'm going to leave this area and go to a completely new area. Uh, those those guys I met the other day, uh, they suggested this one area and I looked into it and I think it might be worth exploring. So that's where I'm going to go.